Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibs07 here again, and this is going to be a quick little uh, update video uh, slash progress video, although there's not going to be too much progress uh, since the last video because I haven't been playing as much lately. I've actually been pretty busy, although I am on break. Um, I actually had an interview for an internship um, earlier today, uh, although it, it's Friday night right now, so... Yeah, I had an, an interview for an internship uh, that I might be getting over the summer. I had that today, and um, I've just been doing a bunch of things. I had to get my car fixed up, um, just a bunch of stuff that I needed to get done before I head back to school, and uh, tonight was my last night of uh, work, and I'm heading back to school on Sunday night, so I might make another video before I head back, but uh, if not... I'm not really sure when my next video will be, just because, um, you know, I'm going to have to be getting back into the swing of things up at school, and I'm getting like a million texts, <laughs> my bad, um, but yeah, I'm going to be getting back into the swing of things up at school, and I'm just not sure how much free time I will have, sort of depends, um, it just always is a bit hard, especially this year because um, my roommate is a big weirdo like I've talked about in previous videos but um, next year I'll probably be able to do a lot more videos and stuff because I'm going to be uh, rooming with my girlfriend and uh, she watches my videos sometimes I think you know she knows all about it and stuff um, I actually I do videos on my separate channel um, which is just called Bibzuda space like the the word seven steam wants to update um but yeah uh and that that channel i use for uh other games and i've uploaded um i'm gonna be uploading my last episode of my bioshock playthrough uh tomorrow so that's pretty cool um nobody really watches those videos but um i just upload them and my girlfriend watches them um so I think it's pretty cool, and I enjoy to make them a lot, and it, it, I find it really fun to play through, like, my Steam games and, um, and, like, you know, co commentate while I'm doing them. But, um, yeah, a quick look at my stats, I'm getting pretty close to 80 strength, which is nice, I guess, um, a nice level to hit, uh, but it's still not very high, like, I'm pretty much going straight to straight to 99 strength with these stats. Uh, if I'm ever training melee it's going to be strength because 75 attack is perfectly fine, more than enough. Uh, most people stay at 70 but I got 75 in case I ever want to use a god sword if I ever get that kind of money or whatever. Um, I think I'm just, I might just hop worlds because this guy is here. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Um, my password is pretty easy to uh, to recognize, I think, so I don't want to show it. Or I just don't want to show my password in general. Not that it's easy to recognize, that was a misspeak. Um, oh, they have a timer for the fight games now, that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is my Slayer task, obviously. I have like 50 left. Uh, this is my second trip. Uh, my first trip I wasn't able to do the whole thing, it was like 160 of them. But it kind of stinks because I'm like all out of Slayer points now, so I really hope I don't get something like complete shit, otherwise I'm going to be pretty depressed about it. But basically all I've been doing is either Slayer or uh, I've been doing a lot of farm runs. I just sold off another batch of herbs um, and bought another 30 seeds and I'm up to I think 1.5 mil cash probably going to invest in some Torags pretty soon. That's only like five, six hundred k for the top and legs, so yeah, I'm probably going to invest in some of that for some certain Slayer assignments, like uh, well, I don't know, none really come to mind, but I definitely want to get one soon. Uh, I'm still hoping I can get my own Black Mask from Cave Horrors on a task or something, and then uh, once I do that, I'm going to try to save up Slayer points to buy the Black Mask, I mean the Slayer Helmet. But, um, yeah, I don't really want to buy one of those because I, I kind of want to get one from Cave Horrors and I'm pretty due for a drop, as I said in the past. Um, I've only had one and I've killed almost 3,000 Cave Horrors, so could go for another one. 
Uh, I just got 70 Slayer the other day, which was pretty nice. Uh, like I said in another video, finally out of those 60s levels. And in two more levels, I unlock Skeletal Wyverns, which are supposed to be really good for money. So I'm looking forward to getting those as tasks and maybe just killing them in general for um, for money. So I'm pretty happy that I'm getting close to those. Um, although at these tasks like these, I might never make it there. But um, yeah, I don't think anything else. I got a few range levels on some tasks. I don't know if I saw, showed that in the last video. Um, I'm almost 46, far, 47 farming. Um, I've been doing a lot of fishing when I just am AFKing and stuff, and I'll get, uh, I, I just fish lobsters and get a bunch of those uh, stocked up, and then I'll cook them for Slayer. I think I got one fishing level off of those, so I'm 74 now, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually haven't done the quest for Monkfish, and I would just do it if I didn't have to do Garden of Tranquility first, because that quest absolutely sucks, and I just don't really feel like doing it. Plus, it's like a pretty long way, away, like a long trek to get up to the monkfish. Um, I don't know, do I have fairy rings? Well, I honestly don't even know if, if that is what gets me fairy rings. I think I have to start the second part, but I'm not sure. Um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But, um, yeah, I definitely would like to maybe get those unlocked someday, but... Not before I get fairy rings because you have to walk like for like a year and a half if you want to walk there. So not exactly my cup of tea. Uh, and normally I'll just tell you to Camelot and do a you know a few inventories of lobsters, and then I'll usually log off and play some on Steam. But yeah, I still log on every now and then to do some Slayer. Um, I just don't have that sort of drive for this game that I used to have. And I know a lot of people have this happen to them. Um, you know, Rune Shark, they ended up uh, stopping their videos. Um, a lot of people stopped with RS3. Uh, I still have all my money over on RS3 and stuff. Um, I really wish I could just finish the Barrow's Beast series, but I'm just, luck is not with me in that regard uh, at all. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm not really playing RS3. I haven't logged in there in a while. I actually think my membership runs out on that account soon because I was in the loyalty club, the gold premier, whatever you call it. I was in that for 2014, but this year uh, I'm not going to be buying that. Um, I just don't think it's worth it. You know, if I feel like playing, then I'll go ahead and buy a month of membership here and there, but I'm definitely not going to be going straight for the year because I don't think I'll be playing all that much. Just, um,. Like I said, I don't have that drive for the game anymore. Um, old school is pretty fun, but it's not really because um, this, like doing these, this isn't fun really. To killing trolls for my Slayer assignment and stuff. You know, I'm really waiting for those better tasks when I can get like Abyssal Demons and like those Cave Kraken things and stuff like that. And that's when it might actually become fun and of course when I get my stats up and I can do you know bosses and stuff but as of right now it's just kind of a grind and I'm not really enjoying it all that much um, but you know in RS3 it's just like I, I mean I have the max cape um, I just I don't really have much else to do in the game because all the really fun content there is like all the stuff I used to or I want, I would like to do like Virago, and uh, maybe Rise of the Six and stuff like that. All that stuff is like, uh, you need a big team. You know, I consider four people a big team, because I've never really been one to have a lot of friends on uh, on RuneScape. And just look at my friends list right now. Let's see, um, Ool Ool Ool. Th those are all his accounts. Uh, Jake doesn't play anymore. He quit. Ale this is Alex's old account. He doesn't play on that. Uh, so there's Ool, 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 Mitch, and my friend from school, and then Alex. So I have like four people on my friends list. Um, and only uh, only Mitch plays RS3 that much. Alex doesn't play RS3 anymore, really. 
Uh, actually, no, uh, this guy does, but he, I mean, he's not, he's not, uh, he doesn't have the most money. Just, he, he's pretty much like me, he has Drygors and stuff, but no, like, nuts stuff. And then, uh, Ool doesn't play RS3 at all, so, yeah, basically, I'm, I don't know, I've just never been really one to make a lot of friends on this game, just, that's just the way it's been for me, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, it's just sort of, you know, I, I've always thought, I, I always say, you know, I'll probably come back and the drive will come back, but, you know, a lot of the times, I know this happens a lot, is I'll get cleaned and stuff and I'll quit because of that, but this time it's not really like that. I have all the money I could really ask for on RS3, um, because I could buy Ascensions if I really wanted, or a Noxious Staff, you know, some of the best weapons, I could do that, but... Um, I used to love soloing necks back in the day when you could do it with bandos, but that was because, you know, Tover Plate Body was like 200 mil, and like, just to get one of those, it would just like be amazing. And I actually I soloed one of those when back in when you could. Um, but now it's like, oh, I'm gonna go solo some necks, you know, use my seismics or my ascensions or my. Um, my noxious staff and then I kill it and I get you know like the best drop and it's 50 mil it's like oh my god the best possible drop I could have gotten how lucky but it's only 50 mil so it's like wow I guess whatever um, I mean I guess 50 mil is a lot to some people but just to me it's not really worth it because even on top of that fact it's harder than it used to be like when I did it it really wasn't that hard, especially if you had a good uh, tackle box that you could use. They disabled that feature um, as a use of the tackle box because that really wasn't what it was designed for. But people just used it that way, uh, and it really helped you out in some if you got like a bad kill. But it really was like a lot easier. But it, it still it wasn't like the easiest thing in the world. It wasn't like everybody could do it. You had to have some skill and some knowledge and. I found it really fun. I did a lot of next solo live streams and stuff. I think some of those are actually still up on my Twitch channel if you guys ever want to watch them. I think they were pretty entertaining. Um, I'm pretty sure I like someone tried to crash me once and I got like a drop right in front of him or something. I remember that happening before but I'm not sure if that actually did or not. I'm, and I'm trying to look right now. I'm going on Twitch see if I can... Uh, profile here it is try see if I can uh, see if some past broadcasts oh I guess not I swear I had them they must have deleted them or something um, I got a few weird uh, weird Barrows uh, highlights on there I don't know I just used to love soloing next and now it's really it's just not the same and um, yeah but like if you could like solo Virago or something and it was like a really challenging and long fight but you always you had that chance at the end of getting a really good loot uh, I might I would love to do that but I mean you know you could say Araxor but I don't really think Araxor has the kind of loot that you really you know want to get I think they might have buffed it but let me actually look it up on the wiki Araxor oh, whatever Araxy sure I guess they say, oh, Araxor doesn't drop anything, the Araxes will drop, and you fuck you. He's so stupid. That, like, I don't, that doesn't even make any sense, like, yeah, that, that, the big spider you're fighting the whole time, Araxor, you know, you fight him, he, you know, you have to go through three phases, and then this other spider just squishes him, and that spider dies in one phase. It's like, what logic, um, I guess, but... Either way, yeah, you always get those stupid arrows. Those are worthless. And then, yeah, look, like you get like some rock tails, some bruise flasks, some restore flasks. I mean, I guess, you know, some lantanimes are good, but still, it's not like. I don't think it's worth. Because you gotta use like a lot of bruise and stuff there, and it's just like you, you get shrecked for food. Maybe if you get like the maximum amount of water talismans. Like, what do you get? Do you, I don't Let me see. When Raxi's killed. You get uh, some arrows, some charms, one drop from the food and poach. So you always will get rocktails, brews, restores, or overloads. So that's not a drop. 
So the other category is what you can get. Yeah, so you can't even get like multiple of these drops, which is like really lame. Like maybe if I could get some water talismans and some lance knives in one drop, that'd be really nice. But there's not even a chance for that. Maybe if you get like a bunch of onyx bolts E or whatever. But you know, then there's all these stupid things that you are gonna get. You know, oh, I'm gonna get the spider leg top, but I can't do shit with that unless I do like a bunch more of the boss and get all the other parts to buy the stick or the weapon p like piece. I don't know. It's just not, I don't really like the way the drops are done and sort of like that. And, um, <clears throat> what else? I, I don't know. Araxor is just not my favorite boss. I never really liked it from day one and I just am not a fan of its drops system and stuff like that. Um, but something like Virago would be so cool to solo or even Rise of the Six. But, well, I guess Rise of the Six would be, is kind of like QBD in a way. It's like you're not going there for your big drop. You're going there for money per hour off of regular drops. So I guess maybe more of Virago. I don't know. I just wish old Solo Next was back the way it was. That was, my, that was some of the best times I had on EOC RuneScape was soloing Next for sure. Um, and I don't know. I just Nothing really lives up to that anymore. Um so yeah I guess um, I, I, I don't really know I, I don't really want to upload any other videos on this channel but if you guys want to check out my Bioshock videos I'm going to be uploading the final part of that playthrough tomorrow I might leave a link in the description I'm also going to be playing through the Elder Scrolls uh, 5 Skyrim on there as well as Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite like let me show you guys I have so many friggin' Steam games. It's 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 ba it's bad. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna be honest. So let's go. Let's start at the top. Here you go. I'll show you guys all my Steam games. It's actually ridiculous. Because Steam is not about playing games. It's about buying games and hoarding them in your game collection like look how many games I have it is insane none of these are really installed because I only install them right when I'm about to play them especially on my new computer and then I just delete them afterwards um, just to save uh, hard drive space because games can take up a lot of hard drive space and then let me just scroll down the rest of the way it is absolutely insane it's ridiculous I have like 250 games and um, <laughs> whoops and it's just like I can I would love to play through a lot of these. Um, there's Bioshock there, uh, as you guys saw at the top. Um, uh, let's see what else. I mean, there's just so many games that I could play through. Castlevania. I used to love playing Castlevania, the Game Boy Advanced one. I forget what it's called. That game was so much fun. And like, I'll just buy so many games when they're on sale, just because they're on sale. It's like that game looks awesome. I'll buy it. It's on sale. Why not? But I don't know, like, I just have so many games and I like to play through them. So yeah, potential to see like any of those games really on that channel. So if you're interested, you can go subscribe. Um, I've also been playing a lot of uh, modded Minecraft with Alex and uh, Ul's been trying to play with us, but uh, his internet is pretty crappy, to be honest. You can't see, well, it's not, I don't think it's a... Uh, I don't really think it's um, his fault. Like it's not his internet. It's just because he's in, he lives in Australia, so he's pretty far away from us. And me, Alex is hosting the server. Um, so he's having a little bit of a tough time connecting with us, but but having some fun with that. We're playing Attack of the B Team. Uh, it's uh, part of the Technica launcher of mod packs and. It's pretty fun. Um, I've been doing a lot with Galactic Craft. Um, I've almost set up a fully functioning base on the moon, but it's taking a lot more of stuff than I thought it would because um, I looked at some tutorials and pictures and it said, well, it didn't say. Here, I'm actually going to show you this because this actually really pissed me off. So I almost died because of this um, and lost like a lot of stuff, like a bunch of tinkers, construct tools. I might make some videos on this, on that other channel, or even on here, if I wanted. 
but I don't know just because <clears throat> a lot of people unsubscribe when I start uploading other videos which kind of sucks I wish I was like a really popular youtuber and I had just had the freedom to upload whatever I wanted and people would support it but you know that's just not the way it is for me I guess Araxite pheromone what the hell is that Oh, that's a rage reset BS stupidity. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> don't give a shit. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna look up. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, the picture. Uh, so I was looking at the oxygen tutorial, which was supposed to teach you, you know, you need oxygen in space. Obviously, Galactic Craft. You go to space, you can go to the moon, make a space station, or go to Mars or the asteroid belt. But in order to get to Mars in the asteroid belt, you need to get an upgraded rocket, only which you can find on the moon, or and then you can go to Mars and then find an upgraded rocket to go to the asteroids. So basically, let's see. Um, so I was looking at this tutorial, right? I I did I I don't even know what this stuff is. That's irrelevant. I made the oxygen mask. I made the oxygen gear. Um, I made two light oxygen tanks just because I was honestly short on wool at the time but I've made a, a system to get some wool so I'm probably gonna upgrade to some heavy oxygen tanks ASAP because they hold three times the amount of the light ones but basically I filled them up at the oxygen compressor and then I went to the moon right here's the picture this is it I brought my airlock that's what these black blocks are they close up like this I brought an airlock a um, an oxygen sealer and a working oxygen collector and I brought pretty much this many leaves that you can see right here and I set it up pretty similar in this way um, the, there's these little things that allow pipes through them without you know letting the outside air and the oxygen sealer what it does is makes the, a sealed room full of oxygen so that you can breathe without needing your oxygen tanks and what I basically did in there um, I set this whole thing up, had it all nice and running, and then I turned it on and I tried to turn on this thing, which is the thing that gives you the oxygen, and it wasn't getting enough oxygen from these leaves, so I was like, what the hell? Uh, I looked it up, and apparently you need like a ton of leaves, like almost like two stacks worth of leaves in order to even have enough air to run this little machine. So I kind of almost, and I, I was barely able to reset up my rocket and take off before I almost ran out of oxygen. So... That was kind of annoying, but I'm just going to make a second oxygen collector and set that one up as well next to the other one, and then they'll both ha be collecting, and I'll have more than enough oxygen to run my oxygen sealer, and then I should be able to stay on the moon for an indefinite amount of time because I'll be able to re I'll be able to return to this little base thing here, and then I'll set up my oxygen compressor to fill up my oxygen tanks when I get low and I can just keep going out on expeditions trying to find some of the schematics so I could really make some videos on this it's really cool this is just one of the mods I've also been playing a lot with mine factory reloaded I set up an auto spawner um, and stuff like that and it's just I don't know I, I've always enjoyed playing some modded minecraft especially with the machines and stuff those are oh, I've always found those really fun and interesting so let me know if you guys would like to see videos on that or go subscribe to my other channel. Might upload some there as well. But yeah, I've been rambling on for quite some time now. This is one of my longest videos in a long time. I used to do videos like this all the time. Back when I was getting 99 rune crafting, I would just ramble on for ages about random things that had nothing to do with the runescape itself people seem to like those videos but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to on runescape you know I'm, I'm not the most frequent uploader of videos but I still really enjoy reading comments and stuff so if you guys are still around and watching let me know how have you guys been doing on runescape you know what do you do to keep it fresh and new and you know exciting to play I'm just I've, I've just been losing that sort of excitement that I used to always have when I played this game, and um, I don't really know what to do to get it back. I mean, I'm just not really enjoying the grind of getting my skills up anymore, and um, I don't really think it's worth it to uh, get to the 
the levels I want to get to to you know go through all the grinding and stuff but you know we'll see maybe I'll get back into it in the near future but probably not until the summer at the very least because I'm going to be pretty busy with school so I won't be getting you know hardcore back into this game until at least the summer but I might then again be busy with my internship at that time so we'll just have to see how it happens let me know what you guys thought of this video because uh, I could do more videos just like this you know all the time because I could just talk about whatever's on my mind and uh, yeah I might have sound a little bit you know not into this video too much a little bit less excited especially at the beginning I just been a little bit tired uh, tonight just because I had to work for quite a bit and um, you know I don't know I'm just a little tired but uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave my uh, my other channel in the description if you want to check it out. Got a Bioshock Let's Play that will be finished tomorrow. So yeah, see you guys later. Peace.